Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Citizens of the Stars, where we take a moment to highlight the incredible contributions made by you, the Star Citizen community. So let's jump straight into it and hop over to Ben Lesnick for this week's Citizen Spotlight. Hey everybody, welcome to Citizen Spotlight, the part of our show where we talk to some of the incredible citizens who make the community so awesome. Um, today we are going to be talking about the Dam Shames, and they are represented by none other than Princess Frey. How are you doing, Princess? I'm doing well. So, the Dam Shames. Take us back to the beginning. Who are you and what do you do for Star Citizen? So, the Dam Shames are a group of four uh, locals from Seattle who started working together on a TV show here in the area. And uh, we discovered that as a crew, we had a lot of chemistry. And uh, not far after that, we discovered that we all love spaceships. So, uh, Dam Shame, who's kind of our leader, uh, he's been a longtime Wing Commander fan, and he heard about this game, and we had to start pledging immediately. We had to get in, we had to start creating narrative content in the verse. It's exactly what we've been looking for, and it's been awesome. What types of Star Citizen content do you create? So far we've created uh, videos, little short videos, mostly humorous, that's kind of our, uh, our angle. It's definitely positive is, is what we're always going for. Um, we've done uh, some buyer's guides, now we're working on Ships Illustrated, which is um, sort of a variety publication featuring ships and ship culture for Star Citizen. Ah, Ships Illustrated, that's what I want to talk about. Tell us how your new magazine came about. Um, I was actually a journalism student in school and uh, took some layout classes in college and thought it was really fun, but didn't really know how I would apply it in my life. And uh, all of a sudden, I could see it in my head, the title, Ships Illustrated, in that, in that font, that iconic font. And I thought, you know what? Let's give this a try. Awesome. Now tell us what people can find in the first issue. So um, in the first issue, our theme was beginnings, and uh, that was about uh, focusing on, of course, the beginning of the magazine, but also like early ships that you might pick up as you're starting to uh, join the game and really get into the verse. So starter ships, um, we had an article on power supplies because we felt like that was kind of the core of the ship, the beginning of where you'd want to start deciding what your customize, you know, your customization options are. Um, and in the future, of course, yes, Everybody keeps asking, are we going to have a swimsuit edition? We will have something like a swimsuit edition, so stay tuned. Well, I volunteer as tribute for your first swimsuit issue. Excellent. I'm looking forward to it. Well, Princess Frey, thank you so much for being on our show this week. Now let's find out what's happening in Star Citizen. <laughs> Welcome everybody to another edition of Quantum Questions, where we take a CIG developer, put them on the hot seat, and make them answer as many questions from you, the Star Citizen subscriber, as they can in under two minutes. Joining us on the show this week from Foundry42 UK is Events, Manage Events and Marketing Manager, Mr. Cameron Wilkie. Cameron, how you doing, man? Uh, very well, Jared, and thanks for giving me the answer to the first question. <laughs> it's all right. We always do. People are always like, hey, didn't they just ask that? It's like, yes, there's always one free gimme question in Quantum Questions. Uh, uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. We don't want anybody to score a zero. All right, so let's go ahead and put two minutes on the clock and begin. What is your name and what do you do? Cameron Wilkie, I'm the Events and Marketing Manager. Good job, Cameron. Where are you from originally? Uh, I was made in England, uh, but raised in New Zealand, and then have spent uh, most of the rest of my life back in the UK and around the world. All right. Now, what did you do before joining CIG? I had a lot of fun over about the last 20 years, uh, helping run restaurants, resorts, and uh, hotels. All right. And when did you start at CIG? About a week before Gamescom last year, so in the first week of August uh, 2016. Right. What events are we doing in 2017? Uh, 2017, the main ones on the calendar, of course, are Gamescom and CitizenCon. Uh, apart from that, we're taking in, we have already taken part in some PAXs, and uh, we still have a few things left to work out for the end of the year. All right. What are event volunteers? Fantastic people. Um, they are members of our community in general from around the world who give of their time and energies and talents to aid the betterment of all our events and our presence. 
Mm -hmm. And how many event volunteers do we have globally? About 60. Uh, about 25 in the USA and about 35 in the EU. All right. Which team won the tug of war contest at the recent UK staff barbecue? Uh, the fat. <laughs> the what? The fat. Uh, all right. Sorry, I, I, it's uh, auto mute. I think you've gotcha. got on. Yep, cool. Was it? Was it your team, Cameron? I was part of that team. Absolutely, okay. it was a pleasure to be. What is your favorite ship in Star Citizen? Constellation, uh, the Phoenix variant. All right. What uh, what upcoming feature of Star Citizen are you most looking forward to? Landing on planets and flying through canyons as fast as I can. All right. Well, that's it. We're out of time. Congratulations. Oh, you did great, man. Okay. How'd I go? How'd I go? You did good. Was, you, you did good. You, did I, I think Brian? I don't think it. No, you didn't beat Brian, but but you got them all right. So congratulations. That is a good start. It's a good Thank show. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> see you next. See you next time, Cameron. Thanks for having me, Jared. Bye. Bye. And so Cameron Wilkie goes on the board with a total of 11 questions answered correctly. He'll go on to compete against other developers for the CIG Quantum Questions Championship. Remember, you can submit your questions for consideration each and every week in the thread up in the subscriber's den up on Spectrum. So for Quantum Questions, I'm Jared Huckabee. Let's throw it on over to Alexis and find out what's happening this week in Subconscious. Hello, everyone. I'm Alexis, and it's time for another edition of Subconscious, the mini show that's just for Star Citizen development subscribers. I was out of the office last week, but I'm glad to be back with the team. Did you miss me? Because I missed all of you. Getting right down to it, the July issue of Jump Point was released last week. You can pick it up in your subscription area if you haven't already. This month takes a look at the Knox Spike and includes the usual rogue gallery of cool Star Citizen fiction and lore articles. I'm also pleased to announce that the next Subscriber Town Hall will be on August 1st with members of the VFX team at Foundry 42 in Manchester. Watch the Subscribers Den next week for the question thread and get ready to find out what makes our effects so special. You have one more week to test fly your constellations. We'll be announcing your next ship right here next week. And of course, last time I asked you to share your best Connie videos in the den. Well, special kudos to the damn shames who put together a pretty excellent Star Citizen take on the Star Trek The Next Generation intro. Here's a sample. You can see the full video in the link below. That's it for this week, and I promise you that I will never take another vacation again. Probably. Fly straight, check six, and I'll see you in the den. Hey everyone, here's my picks for this week's top five and MVP. Let's get started. Number five, Vandal Glaive Lasercraft model by Rice Maiden. We've seen these types of models from Rice Maiden before, but this one is my favorite yet. Rice Maiden combines laser cut plywood with 3D printed pieces to bring the ship together. If that wasn't enough, they've also provided all the design files for free so others may create their own. Number 4, Search and Rescue by Alex S189. Stranded in deep space, Lieutenant Travis Moore is on a collision course with the star Vega and begins to remember the events that left him stranded. A suspenseful short film that I really enjoyed watching. Great job. Number 3, Misc Offloader by Aramidic Wolf. Using the Freelancer for inspiration, Aramidic Wolf has created a single seat craft specifically designed for moving cargo for the Endeavor. I can totally get behind this concept, and it shows the needs for all kinds of ships in the verse. Excellent job. Number two, Squadron 42 Saber Wallpaper by Pathogen UK. I love the clean look of this wallpaper, and the Saber looks great. Number one, Evil Ways Music Video by Ventiran. Using the camera controls in Star Citizen to capture the Buccaneer in a very appropriate and fitting music video to really express the personality of the ship. Congratulations, Ventiran. You're this week's MVP. So I won't hide. Well, that's all for this week. I want to give a special shout out to Algored, 
and John Crew for taking on the hot seat in this week's Quantum Questions. And with that, we'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. So if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in Star Citizen and Squadron 42's development, please follow us on our social media channels. See you soon.